Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about directory and file management in python programming so guys a directory is a collection of files and sub directories so basically a directory inside another directory is known as a sub directory over here and python has the os module that provides us with many useful methods to work with directories and files as well so this we are going to check with the help of examples as well it is very important to note that over here we have a very important module that is os so this package we are going to import in the python code so first of all we are going to check how do we get the current directory in python by using the get cwd method inside this os module so let us move to the vs code over here so the very first thing that we have to do is we have to import the os module so once we have imported the os module we can simply print the current working directory so over here we have the print statement followed by inside the parenthesis we will use this os followed by dot and then we have the get cwd that is the method in order to get the current working directory over here so let me just save this file now and try running this code it will print the current working directory as you can see it is inside the c drive followed by the users and then we have the user folder followed by the python so this is the directory in which this particular code is present as you can see over here we can see the entire path that is users user and then python and inside this python folder we have this file that is python underscore code so this is the very simple method in order to get the current working directory in python programming language now let us move to another task now how do we change the directory in the python so we have something called as chdir this is another method followed by we have to provide the path as the parameter to this particular function so what we will do is let us say we have this particular directory over here i'm going to copy this and we are going to change the current working directory to this particular directory path that we have just copied so what we will do is before this line of code which gets us the current working directory we will change the current working directory over here so again we are going to use the os module name followed by dot and then we have something called as chdir so as you can see this is the method that we can use and then inside this we have to provide the path of the directory to which we want to change the directory so basically i'm going to paste this and this is the path that we are going to change the directory to so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting some error over here unicode escape codec can't decode bytes in position 2 3 so what we have to do is we have to escape these backslashes over here so i am providing another backslash character over here on all the instances of the backslash characters so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see after changing the directory i am once again getting the current working directory over here by calling this get cwd method and then you can see this that is the entire path that we have changed the directory to that path is getting printed on the console right now so guys this is the way that we can easily change the directory to any directory that we want now let us move to another task over here how do we list the directories and files in python so what we are going to do is let us list all the sub directories and the files that are present in a particular directory so i'm going to move one stage back over here so as you can see inside the languages we have dart java and python so we want to list down all the sub directories over here so how do we do that we have something called as list dir method that will help us in order to list all the directories and the files so over here in the vs code what i will do is i'll go one step behind so we are going to remove this python we have to go up to the languages part and then after this what we will do is we will simply print the directory list so over here we have os followed by dot and then we have list directory so as you can see we have used the chdir method in order to change a directory and inside that directory i want to list all the sub directories over here and this should be followed by the open and close parenthesis because this is a function so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting dart java and then python so guys these are the subfolders that are present inside this directory that is dart java and python let us move one step behind once again over here we can see programming for beginners and there are multiple sub directories and files as well so what we can do is over here i'll just move one step back i'll just remove these languages part over here and then let me just save this file now and try running this code 
So as you can see, we are getting all the files in subdirectories. We have description python.txt, then description.txt, then these are the subdirectories without any extensions over here. Then we have thumbnails1, thumbnails1.ppt, which is a PowerPoint presentation. We have videos and then the YouTube channel as well, which are subdirectories. Next, let us move to another task. So over here, as you can see, making a new directory in Python. So how we can do that? By using the mkdir method. So basically, this is another method inside the OS module. So in order to make a new directory, what we will do is, again, we will go to our original directory path over here. I'll just copy this and paste this over here inside the code. So we'll just paste this over here in order to change the directory. And I'll just escape these backslashes. So we just need to provide another backslash character in order to escape them so we have escaped all the instances of the backslash characters over here so basically first of all we are changing the directory and inside this directory now after this folder over here that is python which is having just three files over here we are going to create a subdirectory so basically in our code what we will do is over here instead of print statement we have the os followed by dot and then we have mkdir so this method is being suggested by the vs code and over here inside the parenthesis it is going to take the parameter which is going to be the name of the subdirectory so we are going to provide the name as the test so let me just save this file now and try running this code so over here, nothing is being displayed over here. That's because we have not provided any of the print statements. But over here, if we come to our directory, as you can see, it has created a new subdirectory that is test over here, which is going to be an empty subdirectory. So it doesn't have any directory or files over here. So basically, this is the way that we can create the subdirectories. Now let us move to another task over here. How do we rename a directory or a file so basically we can use the rename method that is the rename function inside the os module and provide the first parameter as the old name which is the existing name and the second parameter is the new name that we want to rename it to so let us move to the vs code over here what we will do is we have already created the directory so i'll just remove this line of code and then we will say os followed by dot and then we have something called as rename method so this method takes two parameters the the first parameter is the name of the directory or the file that we want to change the name of so let us say i just copy this directory name that is test over here and then i'll just paste this over here so we have test and then let's say we want to rename it to test one so i'll just provide test one over here so this test should be renamed to test one and then as a confirmation i'll just provide the print statement and then we will say rename successful and then let me just save this file now and try running this code as you can see rename successful is already printed over here if we go to our directory as you can see test one is being displayed over here so the directory name which was named as test previously has been renamed to test one over here so guys this is the way that we can rename a particular directory in the same way we can rename the file names as well now let us move to another task over here how do we remove a directory or a file in python so we can simply use the rmdir method in order to remove the directory and remove method Method in order to remove the file name so this method that is remove in order to delete the file I'll leave it up to you as a homework for you so that you can practice on your own and comment in the comment section below whether you were successfully able to delete the file in this example we are going to remove the directory that we have just created so we are going to remove this test one directory so what we have to do is I'll just remove this line of code and then we will say OS followed by dot and then we have rmdir method and then inside this it takes the parameter as the name of the subdirectory that we want to remove so we will say test one over here and then as a confirmation we will say delete successful so let me just save this file now and try running this code as you can see delete successful is printed and when we move to the directory as you can see the test one directory that we had created is no longer existing right now so basically we have successfully deleted the directory in the same way you can delete the files as well by using the remove method which is the homework for you so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs we have seen a lot of functions that is present inside the os module apart from this you can also provide the os module over here followed by dot and you can see there are many other methods that we have not covered but you can practice on your own so that based on your requirements you can use them in order to accomplish your task 
So guys, that's it in this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is exceptions in Python programming. So stay tuned.